storm surge. You hear about it every time there's a hurricane. It swallows up homes, cars, and anything else in its path. But not all storm surge is the same. So the question is, what determines how damaging storm surge will be? This stretch of beachfront homes in Manloking, New Jersey was destroyed by Hurricane Sandy's storm surge. But what happened here has more to do with what's out there in the ocean than what's here on land, because when it comes to storm surge, how deep the water is just offshore makes all the difference. In some areas, there's a steep drop in the sea bottom offshore. The energy of the approaching water is deflected upward, resulting in big, powerful waves. In areas where there's a gently sloping coastal shelf, water faces less of an incline as it heads toward land. Here, there aren't big waves, but there's also nothing to stop the water, and the surge can get extremely high and push far inland. That's what happened during Hurricane Katrina when a record surge peaking at nearly 30 feet pushed water more than 10 miles inland in Mississippi. Anytime a hurricane comes ashore, there will be a storm surge, so be prepared. Find out if you live in an evacuation zone. Make a plan so you don't have to think when the storm comes. And if an evacuation is called for your area, move quickly so you aren't caught in the crush.